What's up YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth and I am back with you today to show you guys another section of my movie collection. Let's get it. All right, today we finally got to row two. We are focused to get out of the way, Mike. We're doing row two, section one, which is this guy right here. Let me get these things pulled and I'll show you what I got. Hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe as usual. And let's get into it. All right, first up, we have Escape from New York. I only have this on DVD. I'm surprised I haven't tried to upgrade this yet. I haven't seen it, to be honest with you, to uh, get the Blu-ray. This is a really good flick. John Carpenter movie starring Kurt Russell. Those two dudes very obviously like each other quite a bit. Uh, they like to work with each other. He was in John Carpenter's The Thing. He was in Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, he was in another John Carpenter movie that's coming up next. This is really good if you haven't seen it. Basically, the world is full of crime. They've turned New York into a prison. The president's plane went down inside of that prison. Snake is told that he's got to go in there and get, that, get out the president. I believe he has 24 hours to do so, or he'll suffer some consequences. Sounds pretty simple. This movie's really, really good. I haven't watched this in a while. This is actually one I think I'm going to be doing pretty soon on my Flight Frick, uh, Fright Flick Friday. I haven't seen this in a while, and I'm definitely due to watch that again. I need to ask my son if he's ever watched it. If he has not watched that, I'm going to pull that and we're going to watch it. Next up <coughs> is the other John Carpenter and Kurt Russell movie I was talking about, is Escape from L.A. I remember this movie being fun. I actually went to the movie theater and saw this. I was very excited when this movie came out. And I remember not liking it nearly as much as I liked uh, Escape from New York. Same kind of idea, but this time it's in LA. He's hired to go in and get something. I don't even honestly remember exactly what that is, but Escape from LA. Good movie, not a great movie, and definitely not as good as Escape from New York. Next up is Event Horizon. This is really, really good too. Um, this movie, it's uh, a spaceship called the Event Horizon, disappeared for God only knows how long, and then suddenly it re reappears. They go and they get on that ship and they find that that ship is not exactly what it used to be. Very, very good movie. I know a lot of people talk about this movie. A lot of people enjoy this. Uh, I recently got this. I had this on a list of favorite 90s movies. I believe that was the list that this one made. And when I went to create the video for that, I realized that I did not have this movie, which was quite shocking to me that I didn't own it. So the next time I saw it, I picked it up. All right, next up is The Evil Dead. This is also a very good movie. I'm sure anybody who's a horror fan and everybody in the horror community know what this movie is, know what this movie's about, so I don't need to get into it. I actually would like to upgrade this one as well. I've seen Blu-ray, or uh, Steelbooks on this in uh, FYE, and one of these days I'm gonna pick it up. I have uh, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, which is more of the same, and Army of Darkness, all classic movies. Everybody loves those movies. And believe it or not, my favorite of the bunch is the remake of Evil Dead. This one is not The Evil Dead, it is Evil Dead. And I actually enjoyed this movie more than I enjoyed any of the movies in the uh, original run of the franchise. I thought this movie was fantastic. It was definitely a horror movie. I thought that the first two Evil Dead movies were, they were creepy, they were scary, they had their moments. But they had nothing compared to this one. This one is a straight up horror movie. It's fantastic. There's a few nods to the original uh, original Evil Dead in here. I especially like that the girl in this movie, when you first see her, she's sitting on Ash's car out back of that uh, cabin. Just a fantastic movie. Crazy violent, incredibly bloody, incredibly scary. Fantastic movie, easily my favorite in the franchise. Next up. I have never heard anyone in the horror community talk about this movie, and it surprises me. Excision. This movie's fantastic. It's dark. It's creepy. It's really, really good. Um, the writing on here is really, really small, so bear with me. In a performance critics are calling ballsy, fearless, and exceedingly brilliant, Anna Lynn McCord of 90210 stars as Pauline, an unattractive high school outcast who hates her up uptight mother, Tracy Lords. <coughs> Excuse me. 
is carrying uh hate school is is her uptight mother is carrying towards her chronically ill kid sister and wants to lose her virginity to her popular classmate but most of all pauline loves her psychosexual fantasies about performing graphic surgery and very soon one extremely disturbing one extremely disturbing suburban teen is about to make all her dreams come true this movie is spectacular like I said it's very dark it is very creepy and it's just really weird if you see this movie anywhere grab this I think I picked this up at Best Buy for like five dollars a couple years ago this is one of those movies that I just I kept seeing it on the shelf every time I went and eventually I said you know what what the hell it's five bucks and I bought it some of the best five dollars I ever spent that movie's awesome all right this next one I have not seen Exeter. I don't think that I've seen it. Let me see. At an abandoned asylum, 16s tinker with the occult, causing a possession, paranormal mystery, and a bloody nightmare that no one can predict. That no one could predict. From the director of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the producers of Paranormal Activity and Insidious. I don't, I don't know. Now that I'm reading that, it sounds familiar, but I'm wondering if it sounds familiar because they've done that story a thousand times. It kind of looks familiar. I don't remember whether I saw this or not, but if I did, it obviously didn't leave much of an impression. So, there's Exeter. I don't think I saw that. I don't remember if I did, but I don't think so. All right, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. This was a really cool movie. This is Emily Rose is portrayed by the chick who was in, what is that called? Quarantine. Uh, she did this one first. Let me see. As scary as The Exorcist, with a strong spiritual message, one of the best films of the year. Well, as scary as the, as the Exorcist, that's obviously an opinion and debatable. I don't think so. I thought it was a good movie, but it was certainly not as good as The Exorcist or as scary as The Exorcist. In my opinion, The Exorcist was the scariest movie that's ever been made to date. I've never seen a movie that scared me as much as that. All right, next up is The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. This is one that I have not watched, that I know I haven't watched, that I have wanted to watch for a really long time, and for some reason, I keep forgetting to pull this off the shelf and watch it. So maybe this one's going to be coming sooner than later. Now that I'm doing these YouTube videos about these DVDs, it, it's quite disturbing that I have as many movies as I do that I have not watched yet. It's troubling, to be honest with you, that I have... I could sit down and watch movies non-stop for a year, probably, and I would not get through these movies. Yeah, this, uh... I want to watch this movie. This looked good. I remember seeing the trailer for this. Excuse me. Molly Hartley is a grown-up, but the unholy demon that lives inside of her is all new. What? That didn't sound right at all. The unholy demon inside her lives on in this all-new, unrated sequel that takes terror to the next level. I don't even... That sounds terrible. I don't know. Not even going to bother continuing on. The Exorcism of Molly Hartley. Next up is the extended director's cut of The Exorcist. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite horror movies, period. It's, it's way up there on the list. I would say probably number two between Halloween is The Exorcist for me. I love this movie so much. Absolutely the scariest movie ever made. I, I just last night tried to get my son to watch this again with me. He didn't want to watch it. This movie's fantastic. I don't need to say anything more about it. What more could I possibly say about The Exorcist that has not already been said? If you have not seen this movie, go watch it right now. Turn off this video, go sit down and watch The Exorcist. It's unbelievable. And next up is just another copy of The Exorcist. It is a steelbook copy of the movie with digital code. Yeah, this, this is just a legendary film, and everybody knows it, so I don't need to go into detail about what The Exorcist is. Next, next up is The Exorcist 2, The Heretic. I've seen this movie as well, but it has been years since I've watched this movie. This movie seems to get a lot of hate. I don't remember it being that bad, but I certainly don't remember it being in the same galaxy of entertainment as the first movie was. Exorcist, The Heretic. And of course, next up is The Exorcist 3. This one I saw in the movie theater, and I, I don't know how many times I've seen it since then, 
so I really need to go back and revisit this movie. So maybe one of these days when I get my punk ass kid to sit down and watch The Exorcist with me again, maybe we'll try and watch all three of them. And next are two movies that I don't recall being very good at all, to be honest with you. The Exorcist at the beginning, which is pretty much what it says it is. I think it's like a prequel to The Exorcist. I don't. I remember this movie being pretty silly. I, I'm not a big fan of that. And the other one is listed right there as the prequel to The Exorcist Dominion. I heard something about these movies, and I'm not sure exactly what the story is or how true it was. But I heard that these movies were basically made at the same time, and the, the, the production companies couldn't figure out which movie to put out. Something goofy like that, but there's something to it. There's a story behind these two movies. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's like they had to decide which movie to put out, but then they decided to put them both out. I don't remember, but I know it was something weird with those movies. Next up is Jessica Alba in The Eye. I think I watched this movie, but I'm not absolutely sure that I remember seeing all of this movie. I think this is something along the lines of a girl needing a, like an eye transplant in which she gets her new eye. The new eye is seeing things that were in the old body. Something weird like that. Sydney Wells is blind. Okay, she doesn't need an eye transplant because of an injury. She's obviously blind. Never mind. Sydney Wells is blind and has been since a childhood tragedy. She did have a tragedy. Okay. After ongoing surgery to restore her sight, she learns to see again. But soon after, unexplainably shadowy and frightening images start to haunt her. Not knowing... <clears throat> if they are an aftermath of surgery, her mind adjusting to sight, her imagination, or something horrifyingly real. Sydney is soon convinced that her anonymous eye donor has somehow opened the door to a terrifying world that only she can see now. So yeah, I don't remember if I saw all of this or not. That artwork's actually pretty cool. One of these days I'll get to all these movies. My God. All right, this one <clears throat> I just recently bought at a Dollar General. It was included in one of my Dollar General hauls. Eyes Front, A Serial Killer's Nightmare. Michael Madsen, Christopher, uh, Christ yeah, Christopher, Christopher Stapleton. This one, from what I've been told, is pretty good. This chilling look into the tormented mind of two killers as completely different walks of life explores the thin line between good and evil. In a hallucinatory adventure of the senses, a crazed murderer wanders the streets on a remorseless hunt for victims. Meanwhile, a distraught family man who accidentally kills his wife's wife desperately searches for redemption. Directed by Darren Doan, acclaimed hardcore punk music video director, Eyes Front breaks new ground with its cutting edge imagery fueled by pulse pounding soundtrack. That sounds pretty good. One of these days I'll get to it. I've heard good things. I think I got a few comments when I did that haul video that that was actually a pretty good movie. This one is definitely a good movie. The Eyes of My Mother with a nice slip cover on it with it Best Buy ruined with their sticker. This movie is really, really good. I watched this uh, as soon as I bought this DVD because I had been hearing rumblings about this movie. It's pretty flick. Stunning, sick ass. Stunning, sick ass. This is what curdled America looks like it's not sick ass stunning sick as shit that's what that's supposed to say that's why I didn't read right because I'm reading it wrong it's never gonna read right if you read it wrong stunning sick as shit this is what curdled America looks like in their secluded farmhouse a mother formerly a surgeon teaches her daughter Francesca to understand anatomy and be unfazed by death but after a shocking event shattered their idealistic life, idyllic life, Lord, learn to read, a young girl must cope with the nightmarish repercussions that echo into adulthood. As she matures, it becomes clear that this beautiful but dangerous young woman has some very peculiar desires. This is very, very good. Honestly, it's a very artsy movie. If you like artsy films, yeah, this is right up your alley. I think that this is available... I want to say that I saw recently it's available either on Amazon Prime and or Netflix. That movie's awesome. If you haven't seen that movie, check that out. The Eyes of My Mother. Really, really good movie. Next up is one that I also picked up at one of those dollar halls, uh, Dollar General or Dollar Tree halls, The Facility. This is also a movie that I've heard things on here in response to that video that's supposed to be pretty good. 
At a remote medical facility, a group of seven strangers begin a clinical trial for the uh, experimental new drug Pro-9. As the untested drug begins to course through their veins, unexpected side effects start to take hold and several of the volunteers are sent into an uncontrollable murderous rage. So it sounds like a story that's been told to, before to me. You know, people just injecting themselves with experimental drugs and exper injecting themselves with all kinds of goofy shit in movies. It, I just feel like that's been done before. So I heard that's another one. Like I said, when I did that video, I heard good things about that movie. I got a good response to that. So maybe that's different, but I feel like I've just, that story has been told before. I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll get to that. And lastly, uh, on today's video is Denzel Washington and John Goodman in Fallen. I believe that I watched this, but I believe it was a very long time ago. I don't really remember this at all. But there was a while there where I was on like a Denzel Washington kick. I was going around just buying Denzel Washington movies up. He's definitely my favorite actor. I love Denzel. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw this movie. I don't remember seeing this movie or remember what it is about. I just remember that this dude is a cop. Uh, and the writing on here is atrocious, so I'm not even going to bother trying to read it. But yeah, Denzel Washington in Fallen. I know that I've heard a lot of people talk about that movie too. All right, I'm going to get out of here. That's it for this video. I feel like I rushed through that today for some reason. Uh, the video seems like it's probably going to be pretty long, but I still feel like I rushed through that. All right, I'm rambling again. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day, and thank you for watching. Later, folks.